2023 was undoubtedly a disastrous year for Disney at the box office. Nearly every single movie they put out in theaters lost money for them. But one of the most embarrassing flops that we saw was another Lucasfilm failure, and that is Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Not only did this movie completely and totally flop at the box office, less than $400 million worldwide for an Indiana Jones movie. But one of the biggest problems was the massive budget that this thing had. Reportedly, it was one of the most expensive movies that they've ever made. They projected the budget somewhere around $300 million, but most people thought it probably went well beyond that. Well, we finally got some of that information. Nearly a year after the actual release of this thing, when they tried to fool us with, hey guys, you know, we only spent $300 $300 million on this. We got a tax credit. It's probably only a $250 million budget. Turns out, it's not exactly the case. And Disney can no longer hide the fact that this thing lost them literally hundreds of millions of dollars because of its failure. Take a look at this. Financial statements confirm Indiana Jones in the Dial of Destiny was another multi-million dollar Disney flop. Uh, To the surprise of absolutely no one who has seen the abysmal sequel, a new financial filing by Disney has revealed that rather than being anywhere in the neighborhood of what anyone would call a success, last year's Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny was the latest entry in their long list of big budget box office disasters. Now, the reason that we're able to see some of these things, some of these financial statements, is because it was filmed in the UK. We talk about this from time to time, especially with some of these big Disney projects. The UK offers a tax credit system where depending on how much you spent there, how much work you actually did there, they offer you a certain percentage rebate. Now, initially when they came out and said, hey, this is how much we spent on this, they said they spent around $300 million and got about a $58 million tax credit, which would have brought their net spending down to about $250 million, which to be fair, still would have been a massive loss for them at the box office. Let's not get that twisted. However, what Disney failed to note was they hadn't actually accumulated or talked about or put on paper their post-production costs yet. Well, now we have those added in, and we're realizing what a massive failure this thing actually was. Per box office tracking outlet Box Office Mojo, as cited by the aforementioned news outlet and the analysts, uh, the fifth film in the Indiana Jones franchise managed to gleam only $383 million worldwide. Factoring an approximately standard 50-50 split, and I I think that it's probably fair to say that this one was close to 50-50 with all things considered. It's not like it made a bunch of money in China or anything like that, but still a little bit beneficial to Disney to assume that perfect 50-50 split. This left Disney with a rough take of $192 million when the film's theatrical run was said and done. Because again... The theaters get to keep about half of this money. Some people don't even fucking understand that when they look at budgets. But yes, of the less than $400 million that this thing made at the box office, the theaters get to get keep about half of that. So overall, Disney brought in $192 million from this movie. Well, that pales in comparison to what they are found to have spent on this thing. Per financial statements filed with the government, the House of Mouse spent roughly $308 million to produce the film. Now, this was before we got the final numbers. Thanks to qualifying for the tax credits, at the time of the filing, two years after filming had begun, Disney had already been reimbursed approximately $60 million by the British government. But that's not the end of the story because he still had post-production. The film was released in June. It's famous for its dramatic chase scene featuring a digitally de-aged Ford. It came at a cost as the filings revealed 80 million was spent on post-production work in the year to start April 2023, bringing the movie's total budget to an eye-watering $387 million. It didn't translate into fortune or glory for the film. So, Again, you have to keep in mind that that about $60 million, you're talking about a movie that spent $325 million net. Nearly $400 million total, but they did get those tax credits, those rebates back. $325 million for Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, which means they're already over $100 million in the hole. And that's what this article's titled here at Forbes. Indiana Jones whips up $130 million loss for Disney. Unfortunately for Disney, that's not the end of the story because it wasn't just simply production costs. This isn't even factoring in marketing. 
which at a bare minimum is $125, $150 million. That's what we've seen from these big tentpole releases. $150 million for Thor Love and Thunder, Guardians of the Galaxy, $150 million for something like the Little Mermaid movie. So certainly I would expect Indiana Jones' Dial of Destiny to be around $150 million too. So you add that to a $130 million loss, and what are we looking at here? We're talking about a movie that realistically lost close to $300 million for Disney, and that's probably being generous to Disney. This is a complete and total failure in every possible aspect. And it's, again, one reason why these things are filmed in the UK, sometimes they never update their official budget. Sometimes they never officially want to tell people what this is. They'll hope they'll forget, but eventually those documents come through. Well, the documents came through, and it's enough to prove that not only was this one of the most expensive movies they've made in history, but also was a multi-hundred million dollar flop. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.